Hey guys, welcome to the Denali 3S built by Rugged Mountain Custom RV. We are going to start by putting the slide outs out and showing you this awesome camper. Okay guys, slide outs are out. And the first thing everybody says is, this thing is huge. And for a truck camper, it is phenomenal space. Uh, there is so much space in this thing. We have personally fit uh, six adults sitting here playing cards at this table, but enough with that. Let's show you this camper. Okay guys, we just put the slide outs out. You walk in this thing and the first thing everybody notices is how much room you have in this thing and this awesome centerpiece, the center island, big sink, lighting above. It is the focal point of the inside of this camper. Uh, this particular unit, we got a nice fireplace, crystal fireplace on the front that is electric. Um, again, this big sink, this stainless sink is just phenomenal. You won't see this in any other truck camper out there. You can actually fit multiple pots in this thing. And the residential hardware, the faucet, uh, we just happened to pick the colors in this unit because it is our personal unit. So. Um, they are options. That's what our customers get a pick here at Rugged Mountain, their color scheme. Again, this is our color scheme on this unit. So I'm standing here in the kitchen behind the center island. Look at all that counter space for a truck camper. This unit, we went all full electric. So we got an induction cooktop. We got a convection air fryer microwave. This is a first for us. We're giving this air fryer microwave a chance. That's from Contour. Um, another option our customers get to pick is backsplash colors. We went with this nice bluish gray silver backsplash. Um, and this has solid surface countertops. So when everybody saw my prototype, one thing I changed in the new production model was making these cabinets a little taller because in the other models, I could barely fit a cup in and out. So we went with taller cabinets in the overhead cabinets. Phenomenal drawer space. For a truck camper, again, I believe we have some of the most space out there. Pull out drawers and options changes with your configuration on propane or electric or whatever you do there. Everything is on soft, soft close hinges, all hardwood doors. And again, look at all that drawer space, cover space above. Uh, this one, we have a 12 volt Norcold refrigerator. Uh, there is options for other manufacturers, other brands, uh, propane, electric, it depends. It all depends, up, it's up to the customer. Okay, behind me here, uh, this is the bathroom wall, and this is where we mount the TV for us because it swivels out, and in this unit, the option is bunk beds. Standard is overhead cabinets, just like you see above the kitchen, but we have bunk beds because I have two little girls. My wife and I have two little girls and they both sleep here. The table turns down to a bed and then we have one that sleeps up on this upper bunk. We do have the ladder. The ladder actually goes right to this side. And it does have a safety net that goes up to help her stay in there in case she rolls out uh, or tries to roll out. So nice bunk bed option. Put that back up here. Okay, we put this, uh, before I put it up, we do have lights here for that. My girls sleep with a head on this side. We put a DVD on at night and when they fall asleep. So during the day, we make the bed up and move the bed up to the ceiling. So we have a table to eat at. Big dinette here. It can easily sit four people. This does turn down to a bed. Also be below here is all storage below the seats. We keep bedding for this bed on this side and other items, drinks and stuff on that side. One thing you'll notice in all of my campers is all the windows. 
it makes it so bright and airy in here. We do have a Lexan window. These guys, in case you ask, they pop out so you can keep them open while it's raining. They have three settings. One other thing these things do when they come in, it's got a setting for what I call winter mode. It keeps a small little gap for these things to breathe. So condensation won't happen as bad and it can drip outside. Another feature with this, we got blackout with reflective backing. If it's really hot out, definitely want to use that. It'll keep it cooler. And if you pull up, you got screens. So screens and blackout or nothing. The back slide out. This slide out again, overhead cabinets, a jackknife sofa, storage underneath this jackknife. This does fold out to a bed. This one is only five foot. Uh, we do have options for this slide out, like a, a built-in desk. The dinette slide out, we can do recliners, we can do a jackknife sofa. There's multiple options because that one's a little deeper. On this front side, these are our fuse panels. We got our 12 volt and that's our 120. Pull out trash can. Hey guys, this is a heat uh, discharge pipe from the furnace. We're gonna walk around the backside here. On the backside, again, we got some more cubbies. Uh, they're just little, shallow little cubbies. There is some options for different shelving units here. We do have a 120 unit, 12 volt USB port, and the old cigarette lighter plug there. This one here is a return air that goes down into the basement. Okay guys, here's the bathroom. Again, it's just right inside the main door next to the master bedroom. You'll see, got everything you need in a fairly small space. Nice corner shower, shower curtain. After this unit, one thing I did change was I shortened the height of the shower base so to give more headroom. I'll stand in here, I am six foot, just to show you what a six foot person looks like, but now I added another five inches by lowering this base. So you got another five inches in the production model now. Um, toilet, there is options for toilets there. We got cabinetry above the toilet, adjustable shelving units in all my cabinets. And then we have the small sink, little vanity here, storage underneath. And again, little cabinet above, adjustable shelves. We do have power outlet and then everything in our campers are uh, residential style switches and outlets. I do have a heat duct specifically in this bathroom to keep the bathroom warm too. It does have an adjustable cover so you can adjust how much heat you get in there because it turns into a sauna sometimes. Uh, full length mirror on the opposite wall and the mirror above the sink. Uh, the bathroom has a three speed fantastic fan, non-reversible. That is not an option to change that out. This one, it, you can come standard with a three speed. You can change it to a 13 speed reversible, which you see here, we have the remote for this one. Um, so that this one out here is an option. This air conditioner we have in this one is a Houghton from Rec Pro. It is a heat pump and it works on 120. It is not 12 volt, it is 120. It does heating and cooling. Something I love about this unit personally is it has a remote and how quiet this unit is. Most RVAC units you can't even talk over. You'll notice as this one starts up, it's currently set at 71, which it's hot out, so it's gonna fire up and it'll come on max speed. Just listen to how quiet it is compared to any other RV air conditioners. There you go, that's running full speed. So we can still have a conversation. It does slow down, speed up according to the temperature in here. Just inside the door, I'm gonna call this my wall of the command center. 
we got again cubbies, three cubbies taking up as much space as possible. They cannot come all the way to the side because I got a heat duct coming all the way up here that is dedicated just for the bedroom area. So the bedroom does have heat up in the overshot. All right, controller for the air conditioner, my Victron seven inch touchscreen to control all my solar battery stuff, inverter. And it also shows what we're using currently. Uh, fantastic fan. Here's my sea level tank monitors. These are percentages. They are not it's a percent. It's not one third, two third and full stuff. Uh, here's an old school uh, Dometic for the furnace and Furion water heater. And then my three slide out controllers. Below that is my residential decor switches for my lighting. And at the very bottom, you'll see my jack controller. You can also control it out there where the jack controller is, but this is a remote jack and controller turn on, turn off button. And of course the required fire extinguisher. The step going up to, to the bedroom, everybody asks, is it storage? Yes, it is. Underneath this thing is all storage. So just lift the top up. There you go. This is in this unit for my wife and I, we opted for a queen bed, adjustable shelves on this side. Okay. And on the far side is a closet rod for hanging clothes. We got our hampers on both sides and then a closets up front, left to right. If you go with a bigger bed, you can do a king option. You just eliminate one side of this covered system. So if you went with a king bed, you would eliminate that side or the side of all the closet space. We have the Froley system in here. So this is our first camper with the Froley, but we do have the Froley system. Up to the left is that dedicated heating duct. Coming off the furnace, it is adjustable because it does get hot up here. And then we got the big electric, I'm not gonna call it an escape, it's just a big old roof vent with lighting. That is electric. This roof hatch has blackout material and it also has screens. On this back wall, is where you'd mount a TV for the overshot or the bedroom area. We have 12 volt DC and we have 120 and there's stuff here for a mount, even though the wife and I don't do a TV in our bedroom. Every light in the bedroom is a touch light, not on a switch. All the main lighting is on switches. The stuff underneath the cabinetry is all touch lights. All right, guys, let's talk specifics about the Denali 3S by Rugged Mountain. This thing is a beast. Um, I believe I hold the tank, the highest tank capacity of any truck camper out on the market currently. The Denali 3S has a freshwater tank of 80 gallons, a gray water of 77, and a black water of 35 gallons. All those tanks are in the forward area of the basement, as far forward as possible, which keep an eye out for another video. I'll show you the full basement as it's getting built. But what that does is the more water you put in it, the further my center of gravity goes forward on this camper. Um, on top of that, you know, I get asked, can I do more storage in the basement? Can I have a spot, feed through spot? Well. To do that much tank storage, unfortunately, I don't have much basement storage after you do a bunch of solar or batteries and whatnot. So it all depends on the options you take. Now let's talk roof space. Because this is 13 foot on the box plus the overshot, we're sitting about 21 foot total length. Uh, I can fit six solar panels up here. Right now I got 675 watt solar panels. Uh, on two separate runs, power runs going up there. So the roof is loaded with solar panels. Um, awning toppers on each slide out. The roof is a PVC roof, uh, very durable. This unit here 
you notice it matches the truck. It is a full wrap. It is not our normal decal package. Very attractive. We did it to get attention, which it works very well, um, but it is not our normal decal package. All right, guys, this Denali 3S is a beast. I will not tell you this is going to fit on a one-ton truck. The dry weight of this thing is 5530 without any water in there. That dry weight does include uh, the batteries, standard batteries, which is two lead acids, uh, full propane tanks, all the solar equipment, AC. So that is as equipped, 5530. But figure you've got 80 gallons of water, there's almost a thousand pounds there, plus all your personal belongings, you're going to be over 7,000 pounds on this thing. So that is why I have it on a Ram 5500 chassis. Uh, it's very important. If you're looking for something this big, get equipped with the right truck. Hey guys, thank you for checking out the Denali 3S by Rugged Mountain Custom RV. Come see us in Emmett, Idaho, schedule a tour, come see this thing in person.